McDonald's are my favourite place to go shopping. Put the brush down. I would love a five bedroom house for my first house. But like, do I do a line? Do I not do a line? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another makeup video for you. I recently bought some new products and I've been trying them out recently and I really like them so I thought I'd try them in a video because why not? I also asked over on Instagram for some questions to answer whilst I did this and I got a few so I'm going to be answering them whilst I do that. Let's get into it, I've got nothing else to say so yeah. Okay so skin. This is not new, I've been using this to be honest probably for years. Maybe like two or three years probably. This is actually just the Nivea Soft Moisturiser. I love this. I should probably try a new one to be honest, but literally just a little bit everywhere. That's literally all I do for my skin. I just moisturise, that's it. Primer. Basically when I did my makeup course, I obviously had a makeup kit and I we use Cryolan. And this is the primer that was in it. My teacher gifted me another one for like passing the course, so I'm just gonna use the one she gave to me. So yeah, just put that on whichever T zone, nose. Okay, primer done. Oh, I didn't wet my beauty blender. Right, give me one sec. Right, wet beauty blender. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Active Wear Up to 30 Hour Foundation. I really like it, so. And I've got mine in the shade 10 Ivory. I think it might be a tiny bit dark. I don't, I'm not really sure. You see, it's a little bit dark, but it's fine. When I finish putting this on, I'll get into answering some questions. Let's see how much that is for now. And let's get a question up. So the first one, what age would you ideally like to move out? Well, I don't know, see, because me and my boyfriend want to go traveling this year um, to Australia. And we want to stay there for a year. So, you know, I wanted to do that at the end of this year, really. Well, we wanted to do it when we left college, which is like, I don't know, what, June, July? But yeah, I don't think it was gonna be happening anytime soon, to be honest. Hopefully by the end of this year, fingers crossed, but I don't really know if that's gonna be happening. About moving house, or well, moving out, preferably when we come back, because that'll be, well, I'll be like, I'm 18 in two weeks, so I'll be 19 by the time we come back, possibly almost 20, I don't really know, depends what happens when we're out there, to be honest, so. And yeah, I mean, I would like to be moved out by 20. Or at least at 20, if not 21 at the latest, but yeah, around 20 I would say is a good age. Just start thinking about that. And I mean, you know, I would love a five bedroom house for my first house, but I think that's pushing the boat out a little bit too far, don't you? As you know, I want a bedroom for myself, a spare bedroom, a filming room would be quite nice, and a walk in wardrobe would be also really good, and a gaming room for my boyfriend, because you know, he's got to have a room too. <laughs> little man cave. But I think five bedroom house at 20 is um, a little bit extreme. I don't know if I want more foundation on or if that's enough. Does it look really orange on camera? I'm not really sure. Kinda looks a bit orange in real life. I guess I could apply a bit more, line it up with concealer. Right, anyway, next question. Can I drive? I'm learning, but obviously locked down, so I'm not really learning right now. My driving test got cancelled. It was booked for March. Now it's been pushed like two or three months up ahead. So yeah, that's great. I haven't driven for four months and I'm kind of forgetting stuff. So it's kind of a good thing, but also really annoying. Someone said, what is my dream car? Growing up, I really, I've always, always, always wanted a Mini Cooper. Like a cream one with like a black roof. Oh my God, I love them. I'm not really sure how I feel about a Mini Cooper though anymore. Like I love, oh my God, one day my dream would be like a Range Rover. Is it a Vogue or a Vogue? I don't know. I really like the white ones. If not, maybe a white discovery, I'm not sure. I just, I love Range Rovers. I think they're so nice. I guess probably would be a Range Rover. I think this is all blended out now. I went down with the brush too. Yeah. Foundation is done. Time for some concealer. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade five. I really like the doe for on it. It's um, a nice size. It's actually quite light, but it's all good. To counteract the slightly orange foundation, I'll just highlight with it too. Where's my concealer brush? 
Got it. I'll answer another question. Okay, someone said my favourite place to go shopping. Hmm. I love Primark, I won't lie. I absolutely love Primark. And I've got a voucher to spend in there that I got for Christmas. So if people would like a Primark haul, I can do that. Well, depending on how much stuff I get, but yeah, I can do a Primark haul if that's what people would want. I really like the look of Zara. Like, there's so many clothes that I'm seeing people wearing and everyone's just like, yes, from Zara, from Zara. But every time I go on the website, I just cannot find anything that I like and it's like really annoying. So, I mean, I like people wearing Zara clothes, just I can't find anything that I like from Zara, which is a bit weird. I like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo and uh, Misguided. Yeah, Misguided I really, really like. Going into shops, oh my god, I can't believe Topshop's gone. They're jeans, I've got one pair and I do like them jeans. Apart from, oh my god, I'm actually so dumb. I went in there, some skinny black jeans and I bought them, got back home and I realised they were like split at the bottom. Like, it wasn't like a fault in the jeans, that's like how they were. And it was like, the back was like longer than it was at the front. So the front, like that much of my ankle hangs out and I'm like, oh my god. I can't believe I didn't notice that when I bought them and I just didn't want to go back and change them, so yeah. I mean, I still like them, I still wear them, like, pretty much all the time when I go out. Also, I've been shopping on ASOS quite a lot, not that I've, well, I say shopping, I've been browsing on ASOS. I don't know, it's kind of everywhere really, but yeah, I do like Primark, I like Pretty Little Thing and Misguided. I really, really like Misguided actually lately. Okay, so I'll just blend that up a bit with the brush. Okay, right, powder. I don't use anything different. I use the same. Just this one. I've got a slightly smaller beauty blender. Okay, right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes. And chin, forehead. I really wanna start using cream contour, but I just can't find a good one. Like, I used them before, but um, I just can't find one that I like. Preferably drugstore. So if anybody knows any good cream contours, that'd be good. And powder contours, because I don't really have any of them either. And I want to start using contour properly because, you know, I kind of just use my bronzer as a contour as well as a bronzer. Let's wipe this off. Do you not really want a white cast on my face? I will answer another question for you. Would you like to go to university? Honestly, no, I don't really want to go. It's a lot of money and for something that I've never really wanted to do. And I'm not certain about it. I just don't think it's worth it and I don't really want to. I don't think I need to go in particular, plus probably wouldn't get in because I like basically failed all my GCSEs apart from art and English, so yeah, that's really fun. I'm still retaking really taking math, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any point. That ties into the next question, which someone said, what are you currently studying? So I'm studying media. The year before that I did study hair and makeup. I didn't want to do the second year because that was all like fake scars and like zombie makeup and stuff like that. I just didn't want to do that. So with media instead and um, yeah, I really like it so far. So I mean, Duvet Mode has been um, sat on my laptop. All right, that's probably enough powder. I can try and contour my nose. I just, I really wish I could contour my nose, but I just can't. I'll just use this one, I'll use this. It's a really, really old, to be honest, Primark palette, as you can see. Let's try, shall we? I don't even know what I do wrong. I just draw lines down my nose and I just does not, it doesn't seem to look very good. But like, do I do a line? Do I not do a line? Do I go underneath? Do I just do that? I've got no clue. Like, <laughs> right, let's just try blending this. Do I have a clean brush? Probably not. It just doesn't work for me. And I really don't know why. See, now I feel like it looks way too dark. Let's answer another question. What is my dream job? Mm. To be fair, I've always wanted to YouTube, like ever since I was in like middle school, like I remember I used to film little videos on my laptop, but deleted them pretty much straight away. So I don't have them anymore to laugh at and look back on because that would have been very funny, like from watching Zala and stuff. I pretty much always wanted to, but I've just always been too scared and just not enough time or well, that's an excuse to be honest, I just was always too scared. It's locked down, I've got nothing else to do, so why not? I feel like I've made my nose even bigger. I think it looks worse on camera, so I'm just gonna do a line. Is this bad? Is this good? I really don't know. Some of you help me. <laughs> Leave it like that. Right, maybe should I put some loose powder around it? I'll do that. Maybe this will help. Like that, maybe? That 
literally went in my eyeball. Look at that. Or is that just ruining everything I've done? I've already got no clue. So you think I'd know from doing makeup course for a year, but I really don't. Oh my god, right, let's just do that. And then, like that. Right, stop. And so I've got this palette out, should I just contour my cheeks with it? I think I should. I do actually like this rotating brush, but it don't, it's really dense, so I like don't use it that often. Yeah, this one from Revolution, and it's so... I suppose I could do this one first, shouldn't I? Well, I'm definitely gonna use the lighter shade because that is just way too dark. Anyway, did I even answer the question? Yeah, YouTube has pretty much always been my dream job, filming videos and stuff. Like, I love filming videos and I really, really, really like editing. I just don't know what to film. I'll put the brush down. Oh, blend. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, as it's my birthday in like two weeks, I'm 18. Do you want me to film a like birthday get rid of me or like a, I mean, I would vlog, but like, I don't know what I'm doing on my birthday. I've never vlogged before. I don't know if it's gonna be that interesting. I mean, it would be quite cool to look back on in the future, but it depends if you want to see it. So yeah, let me know. And also, would you like a what I've got for my birthday? I've, I don't know what I'm getting for my birthday. So, I mean, that could be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I would quite like to watch it back in the future. Because, you know, 18 is the youngest I'll ever be at one point. So, I've got a bronzer here. It's from Emmy Way. Bronzed, I presume. Perfection Shimmer. I presume that's what the shade is. All right, let me get another question up. Someone said, do I have a job? No, I don't currently have a job because I'm at college. Uh, dream holiday, that's good. I've always, always said Hawaii would be amazing to go to. I think Hawaii looks so cool. I think the Bahamas looks beautiful. I'd like to go there. Maybe Bali. My boyfriend's been to Bali and he wants to go again, so I guess we could go to Bali. What else? Miami looks sick. America. Like, I think doing a safari in Africa would be well cool. I feel like I should take off this nose powder now. Like, I feel like it's gonna be like white. You see, then how do I brush the middle bit away without sweeping it all the way down my nose? Maybe I get a smaller brush. Why do I not have any brushes? Oh my God, that's from when my boyfriend put blusher on my highlighter brush. I've got this. Oh, I'll just go for it. Does that work? Do I not have a good nose? I'll do a highlight. I've got this Revolution palette. Um, I tend to use the gold shade in it for highlights sometimes. I may as well just use that, because why not? Got a little angled brush here. Which is like a really tiny one. Do I have a tiny one? Cool. And then I'll use this one on my cheeks and my lip and everywhere else that I want to highlight. Right, let me get another question up. Favourite holiday I've ever been on? That's cool. i am just realised I haven't even done my blush yet. Right. Pause the highlight, I'm going to do blush. Real tint leaks brush. I'll use the pink donut. Um, yeah, favourite holiday I've ever been on? I really like Greece. I've been to Corfu. I also really like Spain. I've been to Spain quite a lot. I've been to Malta and Portugal. I really like Portugal actually. I don't know, I've been to lots of places. No, no, I might be Australia because that's where I'm going, hopefully. So, back to highlight. I'll get another question. What am I most excited to do when lockdown is over? Oh my God, I just want to give my family a hug. That is... Whoa. Whoa. I love highlight. I really like gold highlights. I really want like a champagne one, but I can't find one like this, but a little bit less yellowy, if that makes sense. If anyone's got any good highlight recommendations, you know where to go down in the comments. That's probably enough, isn't it, let's be honest. No one asked this question, by the way, but who is everyone's favorite YouTuber? Like, I've been watching YouTube for years now, probably like, oh, I don't know, probably about eight years I've been watching YouTube for. I used to watch like Zoella and like Tanya Burr and all of them people like that. And now I, Anastasia Kingsoff is my favourite YouTuber ever. I like Saffron Barker. Who else do I watch? 
Soph, like Soph does life. I watch her. Zeph Toms, I like her. Oh my god, Jordan Lipscomb, Queen. She is amazing. I love her too. Basically, just love everyone really. <laughs> um, what's next? Eyeshadow. I'm literally just gonna do. I'm just gonna be boring. What should I do? Gold. Should I do gold? I could do gold, I guess. I'm just gonna go in with this colour here. Should I get another question? How long have I been with my boyfriend? I have been with him since the end of 2018. A long time, over two years. And we met at school, so yeah. That might do for brown, to be honest. I'll just do that. Maybe a little bit more, a bit of a deep one in the corner. To be fair, at the start of the video, I said I got loads of products I wanted to try. I wanted to show on camera, it's literally. The foundation is new. The concealer is new and this Maybelline Sky Hair Mascara is such a good mascara. I really, really like this. I haven't even picked up my Maybelline Last Sensational since buying it, so I'll say something. I'm gonna use probably a mixture of these shades. That's the ones I usually go for. Maybe the bottom one as well. Eyebrows, do I put anything in them? Or do I leave them? I've got some brow gel. I use that. Mascara now, I guess. Curl my eyelashes. I literally swear we're doing this. Sky hair mascara. Brilliant. Look how bendy that wand is. Can you see that? It's crazy. I need another question to answer. Favourite place to eat out? Oh my god, I miss Nando's so much. I love it. I am boring though, to be fair, I get the same thing every time. And I get a plain chicken burger with chips and corn on the cob. Is that boring? I don't know. Right, this is literally one dip. Like, I've not dipped back in my dip can and do another. I've never worn false eyelashes. Fun fact about me, never worn them. Don't really feel like I need to. If you, like, put your mascara on inwards, it will curl, like, hold the curl a lot more as well. It is amazing. Look at that. That is insane. Mascara done. Lips. I'll probably just line them, to be honest. And then just put a little gloss on. I use this one. I love this one. I did not buy this. I don't know where I got it from, but it's a YSL lip liner. Just looks like this. And I do not know the shade or anything. It's got a 13 on it. Is that the shade? Gloss here from Millie Macintosh. I think this completes the look. Right, there's the setting spray. Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Really hope you liked it. I hope you liked my answers for the questions. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do what I got for my birthday. I might do a baking video, but I'm not the best at baking, I will admit. I want to do some clothing hauls preferably in the future. I might get into doing some lifestyle videos. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me doing my makeup. Hit the thumbs up button too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time for a brand new video. Bye.